familiar in the sense that you, you had a lot of chances to score. Didn't the score in the margin was was very small in that eighth inning. Is that the is that the frustration right now for you? No, just the loss. I mean, we the, you know there's a lot of ways to lose, but just the losses um, are the frustrating part. I can't complain about our offensive approach today. It's probably the best team offensive approach against a really good pitcher that we've had all season. We kind of took what he gave us. We didn't try to do too much. We didn't get through slow pitch or slow slower breaking balls. We pulled them. Uh, down the line, and you know, obviously, you want to you know tack on when you can. It's you know, it's tough to win right now. We're having a hard time uh, putting it all together. Our bullpen's been exceptional all season. Uh, Michael's been exceptional all season, but um, yeah, tough to describe. Tough loss. The intentional walk. Can you just walk us through your process there? Yeah, I mean, the, the potential winning run uh, is on third base already. So the guy at first doesn't really matter. You get to pick your choice. You know, Jordan. Uh, or Yuli, both are really good hitters. You, you're on playing a little bit, hitting a little bit better than Yuli has. Yuli usually hits the ball on the ground. Michael's good at the right-handed hitters on the ground. Uh, we just didn't throw the ball over the plate. AJ, you've seen a lot of baseball. You've been around, and you know how it goes. Uh, what experiences do you draw on right now to remind yourself and your guys that this too shall pass? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show up tomorrow, ready to play and ready to win. You know, obviously, um, you don't want to drag these into the next day. It doesn't it's not productive. It's not good. It's not good to be angry. It's we're all, we're obviously frustrated. Uh, we need to compartmentalize it, and we go against um, the same team tomorrow and try to try to go home with a win. What's your biggest concern right now? We're not winning. You made Eduardo so good today. Eduardo, Eduardo was ex- exceptional. I mean, he was really, really good. I thought his glove side stuff was really good. I think his um, sequencing got really good. He pitched everybody a little bit differently. Um, he attacked the zone. He up to that point at the end, he would navigated around a couple walks. Um, you know, the homer to Altuve. But he was he was really sharp and really in control of the game. You mentioned yesterday maybe getting him to throw more sliders, and it just seemed like today it was mostly the fastball on the location. Yeah, the fastball. I mean, the glove side stuff. I mean, these guys like the ball close to them, but you got to keep them honest in this park. So um, he was able to mix and match his pitches. Like his cutter was really good to both sides of the plate. Um, that's a key point for him. But um, you know, going into the seventh and and and, and limiting this team, um, you know, to only a couple base runners was was really good, really impressive. Um, gets lost in it. Just yeah. to comment on Miggy getting getting the 600 double and enjoying yeah. a, a two man group there. Yeah, yeah. obviously, I me mean, Miggy is um, is making history and 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 we're following along. I think it's um, every day we got to remind ourselves to to enjoy it. To see you see it up on the board. They put it up on the board. You see the hug from Altuve to Cabrera, both really close friends. Um, we're seeing historical things with him and 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 we're enjoying it. I know he wants to enjoy him and wins.